Hey guys, this is Master King 48 here. Welcome back to another video. Um, I've been doing some thinking, and I kind of want to make this channel strictly for music. I'll probably upload like one more um, Rocket League video, one other video, and then if I beat a GD level, I I might come back to that game on here but otherwise i'm going to create a new channel strictly for gaming and this is going to be music uh further explanation in another video to start it off i'm going to be going over how i made i'm the flash if you guys don't know what it sounds like here's a clip the funny thing about i'm the flash is you guys might know comic gaming who helped me make this song um we were just messing around in FL Studio, and he has, like, an account thing. And I've, I've kind of been teaching him and going through some stuff with him. And I don't know if he did this on purpose. He says he didn't. But he made the same or, like, a very, very similar melody to the Flash theme. And this is the original project file, which sounds like this. <laughs> Now, obviously stuff's off timing because we were bad back then, but the idea's there. And I originally made a beat. I think I still have it if I... Again, this was still when I was really new to production. That sounds like that. I came back to it a while later and... I'll show you the updated project file now. now the, I s kept all the ideas in here and even this. That's off key, but again, the idea is there. The chords, the melody, everything's there. So I decided to come back to it, right? Here is the current I'm the Flash project file. As you can see, it's a, it's a little bit bigger. Um, now I'm going to kind of run through it. I'm going to play through all the sounds and stuff. So originally when I made this, it was just going to be like a hip hop or like a rap trap beat thing. And then I thought, you know what? I could turn this into a trap banger. And this is the trap drop right here. But as you can see, also the flash key is generally one semitone lower. But one summon turn up will do the trick. As you can hear, it's there. And then I sound design a little synth for that. I sound design this. I think I just took one of my old presets and made it like a pluck thing. So then those just kind of play in and then the chords come in a little bit. And I made everything on time this time. And then I have a little intro melody. And then that kind of just plays and then right here I have uh, my producer tag, which I just made myself. It comes from the German rap song. And I kind of just kept it. It says Kukernig music, which means Kernig means king, and then music means music. I just have some delay and stuff on it. And then I made a little riser thing. I think I reversed the whole pattern and then just took a little blip of that. And then I made another little. I used that later too. I made that in Serum, by the way. Very easy to do, actually. And then I have that going into the um, verse or whatever you call it. 
And then I did the same thing here, but I just reversed it. So instead of going up, it goes down. And then I have the plane for two measures. And then at measure 29, it drops the beat, not not the trap drop, the actual like hip hoppy part of it. Yeah, it's really nothing special, just your ordinary beat kind of just structured. Um, automations are just for volume or slight pitch adjustments like the 808 right here. Let's see how it slides up. Just your classic snare on every third beat. And then I brought in this thing too. I just made it in key that time. D sharp minor or F sharp major uh, for speaking music terms. And then I might have moved these up an octave. I'm not sure. The second part just brought in hi hats. And then it doesn't really get interesting until the switch. Oh, and then right before the switch, I brought in the intro melody again. So it's very like instrumental like very powerful and then i have the thing crashing down which is just on the d sharp i believe yep and an octave see how like it sounds better together you could even probably uh do it but we don't have to worry about that just something you could do i guess um and then the switch a lot of trap music is made in E minor. Just some common examples. Turn down for what? That's an E minor. I'm trying to think. Other popular trap songs. If you guys follow Magic Records or Trap Nation, a lot of that's an E minor. Which is one semitone up from D sharp minor. So basically for the switch, I um, brought in that reverse thing. But then when I brought it back down, I had one in E, the new key of the song. So we moved everything up one semitone. And I had a vocal saying switch. Switch, switch. That's just my voice with a bunch of effects and pitched up a little bit. And then I kind of just faded everything out and back in. Um, this is the 808 pitch going up one semitone from D sharp to E. I changed that. And then everything just kind of slowly comes in. So the chords, melodies, and everything is up one semitone. And with everything, that sounds like. Yeah, everything's just slowly progressing in, crescendoing in, if we're using musical terms. And then I just have your classic build-up, a riser, an E. And then I just started having everything play quicker. Like the synth thing. This is also the same as the one before, again, just pitched up one semitone. Just had to have that playing, and then eventually I speed it up so it goes like... Um, kind of like that. And then... Now this is actually where it goes like, I'm the Flash. Woo! Like, that's actually from a Flash episode. I took the episode where Barry was drunk. I'm a big Flash fan too, by the way. I took an episode where Barry got drunk. And he's like, oh, I'm the Flash. Like, in a bar. It's so funny. I'll put the exact clip in. God, I wish I could have a drink. Bruh. Do you really think I'd let you down like that? Your special concoction. Oh, so I should be more like Captain Discreet over there. I'm the Flash! Yeah. Yeah. I may have slightly miscalculated his bachelor elixir. I got this one. But, um, basically I have it... One octave down. I put up a bunch of effects on it and see how it kind of fades out. That actually kind of works like a scream impact that I used a couple times. 
which gives the song actually kind of cool. It sounds horrible on its own, but it gives great um, oomph when the drop hits. And then I have a little uh, pre-drop kick. Um, I use the same kick throughout the whole song. Uh, it's a cymatics kick, nothing special. And then the drop's the same thing. I never organize my project file, so it looks so messy. But snare on every third beat, and then I love when the kicks go really fast here. Um, it sounds really good. Now the drop is your standard trap drop. I have a really unique brass horn I found. It works really well for this. Um, every trap needs a brass hit. Uh, one of my friends, best friends, Gavin, I got him to do some chants. I think I found the key of it. I'm pretty sure that's an E, but it might be in a B or a C, but it's in the scale, that's all that matters. And it's a chant you really can't hear. I use the same melody for the like intro and verse. Um, but again, this is just pitched up one semitone and I made a couple adjustments. And again, it's an E minor, D sharp. Sound design this synth and serum. Um, nothing special. I have three layers for the drop. Um, that and then the flash relies heavily on piano, so I have a piano. But I have this really cool rack I use all the time. And then I changed up the FL keys sounds. And there's uh, one octave apart, so as you can see. And then this pluck bass low synth thingy I made in harmless in probably like two seconds. And then all three of those combined together to sound like this. So that's pretty cool. And then I have your standard, you know, trap things. I have a pad, I think. Or that's a one eighth note. In the preset, I actually use this preset a lot too. It was the main lead and changing pace in the trap drop. I think I just have a couple automations doing volume and stuff. Nothing special. A crash and a reverse crash because when the drop hits, I like had to come in and then suck back out and then just power through. The 808 I actually made myself. I made that myself a while ago. Um, I really like it. Sounds super good. I have a bell in the key of E. And then where it goes right here, and they just switch octaves. I really like that idea. I think it sounds really good. Um, what's this? Oh yes, I made a vocal pattern. Uh, the, I have two counter melodies. This one, which is also a preset I use a lot. I use a lot of the same presets. I just change them up a little bit to make them unique. I have a counter melody. Um, and then I, uh, this is actually my voice. And then you can hear that a little bit, actually. Right there. Um, I love that. This is actually one of my favorite vocal patterns I made. My note was in B. Again, everything in E minor makes sure stuff's in key. And then I have the snare do a 
cool pattern there. Um, I used a different brass shot right before the switch in the drop. And then I really love that transition because it's the unique brass hit. Then the, a standard brass hit plays. It's actually not on beat. <laughs> Whoops. Um, and then the reverse brass shot, but it has like some delay on it. So it sounds like ba ba bum bum bum. And then when the other brass hit comes, it just like. Have the bell in a reverse crash, and then right before I bring everything back in, I. Oh, that's not on time either. Or is it? I cannot believe I did not notice that. Um, but if you look. Huh. I mean, I guess it gives it more of a human vibe, but that's not supposed to be there. I'm going to go my bad on that one. What I did was I took the pluck bass, put it down an octave, and then I bring it back up when everything comes in. Um, I didn't do anything special. I just had a hi-hat come in on every quarter note, almost every quarter note, and then I put it in double time in the end. Um, had a reverse crash going into everything. I offset things a little bit, so it's not like just all at once. It's like a pop pum sort of thing. Let's see how it impacts. Everything comes in, so it's kind of like a double pile. Um, had a lot of the same stuff. That's a pad. Definitely. I don't know if I made that myself. I did make this myself. Given dimension. Uh, Add in more of Gavin's chance. And the lead. Couple notches. Same uh, kick pattern and snare pattern, just with the hi hats. Same counter melody. But I added, I actually took inspiration from Call Me by Subtect, one of my favorite future bass songs. He has these claps in. That are just in the background with big reverb and I, it, it's so good. Kind of giving you hard style vibes, but in the background it fits well. I also had the bells on uh, every beat instead of having it in sort of a pattern, kind of like that. Just everything's quarter note to giving it more like a, I, I don't know. Um, and then right before the outro, I have Barry's I'm the Flash, Woo, um, and stuff kind of just fading out. <laughs> And then uh, the ending is actually really easy. I just took an 808, the 808 I've been using throughout the whole song. Had it one of them where it was pitched up an octave. And then had it one octave up above that. Uh, that's actually very common having to go like, but I kind of liked it in the end. And then for the ending, I took the piano, which everything is up an octave the melody wise in the second drop where it goes like boom I have a delay thing coming so here fades out like that um the bottom and then I have a brass shot. And then the sound effect. It's just a lot lower. And then you can hear the piano and then it kind of just fades out. Uh, the same eighth note thing. And that is how I made I'm the Flash. So yeah, that is how I made I'm the Flash with Comic Gaming. 
Um, again, Matt likes uh, got all the melodies and stuff originally. I did all the work, but uh, couldn't have been done without Matt getting the chords. I don't know if he literally did that accidentally, but worked out and we made a trap banger. Um, this is one of my favorite songs I believe I produced. Post processing is so important. Like before I go, I'm just gonna play. I'm gonna have the lead melody play without these effects. I'm gonna play it with. So make sure you post process. It does take time learning what each of the things do. I'm not going to go into too much detail about how I post process. Just kind of did that. Um, hope you guys learned something. Um, stick with it. Find your style. It took me two years to get where I am here. Over. Um, so keep going. You can do it, guys. And I hope you enjoyed. As always, peace. Have a great day. Make sure I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Take care, y'all.